Jip too hard, don't stand too close. You gon' fuck around and drown off this way. Doing all these shows, I've been on the road. I don't care where I go, as long as I keep. Welcome back to my video, guys. Um, as you guys can see, I dyed my hair red, and it is now straight. So, if you guys would like to see how I colored my hair, this red color, it's a lot redder than the other time I dyed it. So, I'm really liking this color. And then, if you guys also want to see how I get my hair this silky straight, I've never gotten my hair this silky straight unless I go to like a professional. So, if you guys want to see how you guys can get this silky straight hair as well, then stay tuned. Also, I'll have all of the products that I use down in the description box below. So if you're ready to get into this video, let's go ahead and get started. All right guys, so I will be using the L'Oreal High Color and I'm using three boxes of magenta and one box of red. So I am using a bowl and I have my 30 developer and all I'm gonna do is just open the caps up and start putting them into my bowl. And then it calls for like, a shot of developer for every color tube whatever you know what I'm saying so every tube gets like one shot of developer yeah I'm just gonna continue squeezing out all of my tubes of color and then when it comes to the actual red color I'm not gonna squeeze the whole tube because the red color is really really bright and I was very scared but I did end up going back and using all of the red color. Now I'm just adding my developer. So in total, it's gonna be three total shots of developer and then one like half shot. <laughs> So you're just gonna mix it up until it's a really good consistency, not too thick, but not too runny. Also, if you have really thick hair like myself, you probably should get five boxes. Um, when I very first dyed my hair, like the first time, like four months ago, I only got three boxes. So this time I got four boxes and four honestly still wasn't enough. So if you do have really thick hair, make sure you get a lot of color. Okay, so now moving on to the application, I'm just gonna section my hair off and you wanna work in really small sections just to make sure that you get every strand. Okay, so now I'm just going to start applying it and unfortunately the L'Oreal high color boxes don't come with that little brush so I don't have a little brush so I'm just going to be using my hands. So honestly you just want to try and get it on every strand, rub it together, get underneath your hair, like lift your hair up, every crack and crevice you want to make sure that you get. So this time I am starting with my roots. Again, the last time I dyed my hair I didn't want to touch my roots because I was scared, you know, like the whole hot roots thing. But this time I told myself just go for it, go for the whole red look. So yeah, I'm going to start with my um, roots and then I'm just going to work my way down. So you're just going to keep repeating the same process throughout your whole head. Just make sure your hair is completely saturated. If you don't want to get your roots, don't get your roots. If, if, if you want to get like that ombre effect, then just do it however you want. But just make sure you have a lot of product on your hair.
And don't mind how crusty I look, guys. It's like 1 in the morning. I got off work, you know. <clears throat> laid down for a little bit, chilled a little bit. And then I started my hair. So, yeah, it's really late. So, don't mind my appearance, please. All right, guys, so I had just a little bit left, so I'm just going in to get, like, my edges. Um, any places that I miss, lifting up my hair, the bottom of my hair, the ends of my hair, just any places that you think you miss, just go back and try to get all of the spots. All right, so now that I'm done with that, you can just put a shower cap on your hair, shower cap, shower cap on your hair, or you can put a plastic bag. And then I just waited like 30 minutes. Um, you can wait longer, you can wait shorter, it just depends on how vibrant of a color you want or how dull of a color you want, how subtle I should say. So basically I washed that color out of my hair and I went in with the BioSilk line. You can get BioSilk at Walmart. Um, it was like $30, but I mean, I guess it's worth it, I guess. Um, it comes with a shampoo, conditioner, and then a serum you put right on your hair before you straighten it. But right now I'm taking the Ion Heat Protectant Spray. So I'm going to spray that all over my hair just for heat protectant. And then I'm going to go in with my BioSilk Serum. This is what's going to make your hair super silky, super light. Um, it just makes it really beautiful. Also, you don't want to add too much of this product because it can weigh your hair down and kind of give you the reverse effects that you want. You want nice silky light results and not something heavy and like oily. Okay, so now I'm just gonna section my hair off again and start to blow dry. This is probably the most important step. This is what's gonna get your hair super straight and this is the part that I've been skipping on most of my straight hair videos. I kind of just blow dry my hair to get it dry and kind of straight, but you wanna blow dry your hair as best as you can and get it as straight as possible before you straighten your hair. That way when you straighten your hair, your hair is like 95% straight. You're just going over it one pass and you know, it looks way better. Also, you want to detangle your hair first, so I'm just taking a brush and detangling my hair. And then I got this blow dryer at Sally's, and you want one that's pretty like high power that gets pretty hot. So I will be using it on a high setting on high heat. And all you're going to be doing is taking your brush and your blow dryer at the same time and just like stretching your hair out. Again, like trying to make it as straight as possible, get your roots. Just any parts that are super, super curly, super, super puffy, just pay special attention to those parts. And this process honestly did not take too long. I thought it was going to take a long time, but it only took about 20 to 30 minutes. So also a big disclaimer, when you are adding in your products like the heat protectant spray and my um, serum that I put on by BioSilk, you want to do that on wet hair. I know my hair probably didn't look wet. Trust me, it was wet. I had just got out of the shower. You want to apply it on wet hair and then you blow dry your hair after that. 
I'm just gonna show you guys the process one more time on this top section and then I'll move into my straightening. So yeah, you're just going to basically elongate your hair, stretch it out, get all the curly parts out, all the poofy parts out. Also, you guys, this method that I'm using is um, from another YouTuber. Her name is Janae Mickles. Um, she just does a lot of silk presses and I just watched so many of hers and I was like, I've literally never gotten my hair this straight before. So I'm just gonna try her method. I'm gonna see how it goes. And it turned out perfect. So if you aren't able to follow along with my video, definitely check out her videos because her videos are super helpful. Alright guys, so that is how I just blow out my hair. Again, it really wasn't that long. It wasn't that difficult. So now I'm just going to go right into straightening my hair. So I'm going to start on the back section. And I'm just going to take really small pieces. And I got this straightener at Ulta. Um, again, I'll have all my products in the description box um, above. I can't talk. But basically, since I blew out my hair so good, I really only have to do one pass. Some parts I had to do two passes, but yeah one pass and i'm good and then also i'm going in and i'm just trimming my ends because i haven't trimmed them in probably like five to six months so i'm just taking a couple inches off maybe like an inch and a half but yeah you're just taking a rat's out comb and then following behind it with your straightener So before going in and straightening like the body and length of your hair, you want to make sure that you get your roots really good because those are still probably a little curly and poofy. All right, guys, so as you can see, this is half of my hair done, and it is very silky. It has body movement. It's not stiff, and I'm really loving the results. Again, I'm just going to show you guys the last section of my hair. Also, I did go back in on every section and add just like a drop of the serum for every section before I straighten my hair. But yeah, I'm just going to be continuing this same process for this last section of my hair. Also guys, I know I'm not a professional and I know I probably shouldn't be cutting my hair, but honestly, I really don't care as long as my ends are trimmed because my hair is not even and my hair hasn't been even since eighth grade when I got layers. So it's not like I'm making my hair uneven right now. My hair has already been uneven. I'm just, you know, giving myself a trim because I need one.
all right guys so it's the next morning and i'm just adding some curls to the bottom of my hair usually i would never add curls to my hair when i straighten it but again after watching janae's videos and how she does her silk presses i just think it looks so much better with a little bit of curls in it again it adds more movement and here's how it looks in the light i'm really loving the color and how silky it is So I'm just going to add the curls to the other side and I will show you guys the finished results. All right, guys, so here's the finished product. I'm loving it, and I've been getting so many compliments from you guys and everyone on Instagram. So if you guys liked it, please make sure to give it a thumbs up and comment. Also, make sure to subscribe and share and follow me on my Instagram. You can see it in the description box below, and I will see you guys in my next video.